This demonstration shows Shark's blending capability. Blending is the process of replacing sharp edges or vertices in a model with smoother, tangent, continuous faces of transition. These changes may be needed to make a part more photorealistic, aesthetically pleasing, safer, stronger, or manufacturable. Shark supports one of the CAD industry's top blending tool sets. In fact, several years ago our software came out top in a blending and filleting comparison of 10 modelers by Joe Greco that included SolidWorks, SolidEdge, and others. Shark contains a variety of blending tools including simple constant radius blends as well as variable radius blends, hold line blends, fixed radius blends, vertex blends, elliptical cross-section blends, and face-face blends. This demonstration focuses on the simple constant radius blend tool. Our first example is from a part I created from specifications from Steve Wolf some years back. This was a part to test and compare blending functionality of solid modelers. In particular, blending around features. We have two extrusions in this boss. And blending to a degenerative radius. Let's turn it to the side. and You can see up over here, any blends occurring on these three edges is going to create a challenging uh, situation as it uh, degenerates to this point. All right, let's go ahead and first let's select our our constant radius blend tool, and uh, let's let's generate a blend between these two features, and let's generate a 0.2 inch blend, and let's select this edge. And you'll see it's going to grab all the tangent continuous edges associated with my selected edge. Likewise, now let's blend between these two extrusions in this boss, and we'll select this edge, and then we have one more one more blend coming up. And this is the this is the interesting one as we're going to blend around this edge tracking around the boss, the extrusions and back up to the degenerative uh, uh, point. So let's go ahead and select uh, the edge and let's see what kind of blend gets created. You can see it highlighted in red Okay, let's move on to our next blending example. We'll go to Concept Explorer and let's isolate this layer. And we have some geometry here where we have uh, we have six edges all coming to a point. And in this example we're going to demonstrate uh, multi-radius uh, blending to a shared vertex. Let's go ahead and select our, our radius tool. And this time we'll go ahead and uh, create 0.5 inch blends and let's select these six edges one two three four five six and then what we're going to do is we're going to display our object info dialog box which lists all the radius edges I selected and the radius values and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change some of these radius values let's change this to a quarter inch let's change this to 0.45 Let's change this to 7.5 and let's add in a setback too of uh, 1 inch. And we'll hit apply and you can see the, the interesting blends that get created here. Alright, next what we're going to do with this part, we're going to go ahead and uh, confirm that the blends that we just did holds up to subsequent feature uh, feature modeling commands and we'll do that we'll just uh, we'll create a shell operation on it and we'll create a shell at uh, 0 0.1 inches and what we'll do is we're going to pick this body and uh, let's have it open up the face on the back the face on the bottom and the face over here on this side and then let's go ahead and uh, look at the shell that was created and we can see the uh, the plans all held through in a subsequent uh, modeling operation. All right, let's, uh, our last blind demonstration shows Shark's ability to handle complex blend situations involving numerous faces and edges simultaneously. 
In this demonstration, you'll see the advantages of a robust solid modeler versus a NURB-only surface modeler, a challenging task for Rhino users. First, let's go ahead and uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go ahead and blend a single edge. We'll blend this edge uh, up on top at one inch. And uh, let's select the edge. Let's go over to our blend tool. And now let's go ahead and select this edge. You can see uh, we're smart enough to understand that we have a relationship between these two faces. And uh, the capping blend is interfacing with the two bottom faces on top and the two faces uh, on, on this side as well. Now let's go ahead and instead of blending the edge, let's blend, let's blend the face. And you can see how it handles that, uh, all the near, nearby faces. And then lastly, let's go ahead and let's blend the entire body at once. And this will grab all the edges and faces and, and smoothly blend them. Now let's go ahead and let's, let's do a more complicated um, blend. And uh, we're going to do this by creating some uh, some features in our part to create a, 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 a edge a complex edge situation. And we're going to go to the hold tool, and uh, let's make a through hole normal to the face that's selected, and let's do a diameter of, of two. And let's pick pick this face and this location to drill a hole through, and let's repeat for these additional faces. Let's rotate our part and let's get uh, these two more faces. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's shell this part. And we're going to shell it at uh, 0 0.2 inches. And what we'll do is we'll pick the body and uh, this time there will be no open faces. So the entire part will be shelled out on the inside. And then let's go ahead and let's, let's look at it by, uh, let's create a, a, a plane and let's split the part into two. And we'll pick our solid, pick our splitting plane. And then uh, when it's finished, let's go ahead and just uh, hide this piece. And uh, let's rotate the part so that you can see the geometry that is created on the inside. So this is our situation that we're going to go ahead and blend. It's a, it's a very interesting case of edges and multiple faces uh, coming together, creating a very complex blending situation. And first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and select our blend tool. And uh, this time we're going to go ahead and put a 0.2 inch blend. And we're going to blend the intersection of these tubes on the outside first. And I'll uh, select this edge and that edge, blend them, and let's go ahead and do the bottom, edge one, edge two, and blend. So that's the outside blend. And now let's go ahead and let's blend the inside as well. And this is going to be this is going to be interesting because we're going to blend these edges and these vertical edges at the same time. And uh, let's go ahead and select these four edges and all the vertical edges. One, two, three, four. And you can see the very complex blend that's created at the inside of these intersecting tubes. And now our final step is to blend the top face resulting from the pipe intersection. Now the shell operation was 0.2 inches so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a radius of 0 0.1 inches and this should create an interesting uh, blend that uh, uh, should end up being a tube uh, across the top. So let's just go ahead and select our face, release it, and you can see the very interesting blend that results. 
And that concludes our demonstration of simple constant radius blends with Shark.